Welcome, travelers. You've found the storytelling room of Cosmic Roots and Eldritch Shores. Get yourself a cup of your favorite brew, settle in, and get ready for takeoff. Tonight we have Painting Clouds, a science fiction story by A. Merck Rostad. No one looks at the sky anymore. It's a red, shapeless ruin, the dying sun spilling radiation in its final days. I paint with clouds. Bird shapes are my favorite, suggestions of wing, a hint of a beak, dusted edges like wild feathers. A swan was the first avian I saw when I was born. The second thing I saw was the human child sitting beside the bird feeding it corn kernels. My siblings, fellow cloud weavers, all specialize in different shapes. We collaborate and mold the textures of air and rain, cold and heat. The sun and moon are palettes to tint our canvases. But now the sun is dying. People no longer look at our art, our gifts. And as they stop looking, our clouds thin and fade we grow weaker, less aware. Without our medium, our art, what are we? Too many of us are lost, drifting into nothingness outside the atmosphere. Little children imagine wonders. They inspire my brush. Their laughter energizes my flourishes. Their smiles stay in memory for eons, a well to draw on when needed. When they point and look for shapes, I craft the clouds and send the bird shapes into the sky. We've been offered sanctuary on another world, my sibling, Tenth of Three, tells me, drifting along on the radiated wind. One lush with clouds and two moons. There are other weavers there who shape light and sound, cousins maybe. Tenth of Three flutters in excitement and I clasp my sibling close. What are the children of the surface like? I don't know, but we'll see, says Tenth of Three. Our new home has sent us a great sail, made from a thousand newborn sunbeams. Tenth of Three creates boats and waves, and often I let my bird shapes glide over the sails. I gather the few threads left to me. I will be sad to leave this world, I've never known another home, while many of my siblings who came here when the world was born have seen other planets. Come, Ninth of One, my sibling says, and pulls me up towards the waiting ship. And then I see the child, a tiny girl, gray as Fifth of Ninth's frothy storms. She stands on a hill of rust, a scrapyard that was once a skyscraper, one hand shading her face as she peers into the sky. I shape a sparrow, tiny wisps of white, and she smiles. Tenth of three tugs me, and my sparrow unravels. A bigger child pops from the rubble and pulls the small girl down with whispered cautions. Don't stare, you'll burn your eyes. And then she's gone. My hundreds of thousands of siblings glide towards the waiting ship. Tenth of Three raps about me. There will be others to smile, Tenth of Three says. I turn for the ship. When I look back, the child is not there. The ship is a membranous network of wings and eyes, rippling in vast layers above the earth. Most of my siblings are aboard now. I hesitate outside the portal to the ship. The little girl has not returned to her rusted hill. I wonder if she still exists, if anyone still exists. I have little energy left, but still I hesitate outside. Within the ship, Fifth of Ninth sends me a whisper that there is light and moisture and beautiful cloud patterns to revive us and sustain us until we arrive at our new home. Who will watch us as we fly? I ask. We are cloud weavers. We are here to bring joy. To give art, to create, is the noblest of purposes. I know this is true of humans as well. They, 
erect great sculptures and paint on sand and cloth and glass to share their wonder and their joy with each other. I do not want to abandon this world if there are still small eyes who look up in hope of seeing the clouds. We will watch each other until we arrive at our new home. Just as I am about to follow Tenth of Three, I see her again. She's alone and sits on a clay hill far from the rusted skyscraper. She stares up at the sky, but her eyes don't move. Is she looking for me? I pull all my remaining clouds into my hands and brush them in wide, bold strokes. A heron, a sparrow, a penguin, a shrike. The girl doesn't smile yet. Perhaps she hasn't seen them. I can be patient. These clouds are for her. Come away before it's too late, Tenth of Three cries. The ship is leaving. It can't return once it breaks the atmosphere. I shape a flock of swans to see my siblings off. Perhaps there will be another ship in time. Not yet. While one child still stares up at the sky, I will paint the clouds. The End This has been Painting Clouds by A. Mark Rustad. A. Mark Rustad is a queer non-binary writer who lives in the Midwest United States. Favorite things include robots, dinosaurs, monsters, and tea. Their stories have appeared in Lightspeed, Fireside, Apex, Uncanny, Escape Pod, Shimmer, Cicada, and other fine venues. Merck likes to play video games, watch movies, read comics, and wear awesome hats. You can find Merck on Twitter at Merck underscore Rustad or their website amerkrustad.com. Their debut short story collection, So You Want to Be a Robot, is out from Leith Press in May 2017. To discuss painting clouds, visit the forums at cosmicrootsandeldritchshores.com. For more stories like this, click subscribe here and on our website. Your subscription will let us bring you more stories, illustrations and articles, and support writers and artists. Thanks for joining us on the journey. We'll see you next time.